Okay, so I went down those stairs that was next to that chest, and, uh, wow, I'm here now. This place looks nice. <gasps> it's that chest I saw before. What's in it? <gasps> the Dream Ruby? Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here, you best believe. Ooh, a note. Please forgive us, Mother. If love between an elf and human is forbidden in this life, we will be lovers in heaven. Love, Anne. Oh, great. Wolves. Ah. Uh... Freaking interrupting the that lovely love note with your stupid horse shit. Just, just, I'm not even playing with you anymore. Just not even. I wasn't before. Especially not playing now. Just, just, just die in fire. Boosh. Just bam. Boosh. <laughs> uh, use your stupid defense. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, we got the Dream Ruby, we'll wake everyone up, and then I'm pretty positive I didn't play anything after that. Uh, but I could be wrong, because my memory is awful. So... Oh my god, these wolves aren't dead yet. I, uh, okay. So, maybe I'll be a lot more refreshed once I'm in new territory, because technically I have done all of this before. Like, at least once. Some stuff, the, the stuff in the beginning, up to part, like, ten in these episodes, I've done, that, that'll be my, like, third time doing it. Like, jeez. Oh, I got a Mad Hound medal. Let's look at my medals. Can I do that? Where are my medals? Metal book. I got a slime. And a raven, and a horny hair, and an anteater, and a butterfly, and a frog or and an almirage, and an echidna, and a healer, and a sting wasp, and a magician, and a babble, and a caterpillar, and a man of bat, and a putrid puppet, and a killer bee, and an army crab, and a gas cloud, and a rogue knight, and a vampire, and a shadow, and a shadow and a mad hound, and a rain cloud, and a venom worm, and a... Let's get out of here. <laughs> this place is driving me nuts. Like a freaking Like a freaking pirate's steering wheel on his crotch. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, eat my ass. I straight up do not care. That took so long. I held down the space button for so long. That's longer than usual, man. That's, I can't take much more of this. I gotta grind after this episode. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, but we're off to a lovely start. We got the Dream Ruby. That was nice. And, uh, we just gotta find our way out of here. Do, do warp wings work, or do they only work in the overworld? I'm pretty sure I don't have any more of them, though. Oh, it might be an ability, though. It might, it might be a spell. I might be able to get the hell out of here. Just maybe. Actually, let me just... Heal the shit out of Pete. Because it's one bad. It's not going to give me no trouble. Heal me once. Shame on you. Heal me twice. Shame on you as well. Because, uh, you're going to die. Come on, Sam. You knew better than that. Oh my god. Are you really just only magic based? I'm just going to... There you go. Defeated. What's down here? Oh, it was this thing. It was this It was this cock tease. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't give me like a route, like a little, just a little staircase to go all the way back up to the dumb elf village. Just one. That's all I want. <sighs> oh well. Nope, I remember now. That was the fork and the two different chests. I didn't catch it in time though, and I have to fight these guys now. I'm gonna try to run. It didn't work. It never, ever works. It just never works. Running never works. Maybe that's like life advice they're giving you. Never run from your problems. I don't freaking know anymore. At this point, I don't care. Just get me out of this cave. I have what I came for. I just want to get out of the cave. I forgot to check for spells because I'm dumb. Because I've just been talking and babbling. Yeah, you better run, Toadstool. I sure wish I could run. Yeah, you can run from me. I can't run from you. Just freaking... Done with my water. <laughs> 
empty. Out of here. Are you still alive? Oh my god. You are falling apart. You should not be this difficult to kill. Thank you. Now let's see what we can't do about uh, getting the hell out of here. Yes, instantly fly to a town or castle visited before. Inst oh yes, building or cave. Do it. Get me out of here. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever, I already care. Yes, 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 yes. Here's your stupid ruby. Anne and the human threw themselves into the... What? I did not glean that from that letter at all. Excuse me? The... Oh my god. Whoa. Yo. Uh, uh, uh. Old man, I got some bad news. Yep. Uh, I gotta go wake her up and tell her to. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, this sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't get that at all. I just thought they ran away and, like, hid the ruby and ran off together. Like, the ruby was, like, a distraction to keep people off their tail while they looked for the ruby. Because that was more dire to them. I don't know. That's so sad. That's one time I wished. That's one time I wish, like, North America localization would come in, censor that, and make it less soul-crushing. Oh my god, this is for the Game Boy Color. Children played this. They don't need to know that kind of shit until Romeo and Juliet in high school. Oh no. That's... Man. Cautionary Tales. Always remember that these tales are cautionary. Like, freaking, no, oh, Romeo and Juliet's the greatest love story. Dude, let me, let me tell you right now. If a teacher tells you Romeo and Juliet is the greatest love story ever told, walk out of the classroom. Just get up, silent, don't leave your stuff. Just walk out. And just go, just, just walk out, and then just, I don't know, just do something. Go somewhere. Read, read a book. Do something else with your time other than sit there and be fed lies. Dude. The friggin' Sh Shakespeare knew what he was doing when he made Romeo and Juliet. Man, first of all, uh, I don't even I don't even want to go on that tangent. It's 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 a cautionary tale. It's saying don't do what Romeo and Juliet did. Okay, how do I how do I use this dust on people? What do I do? Ugh. But yeah, the whole point of Roman Juliet is they didn't love each other. They didn't know each other. They knew each other for all of four days. That's the whole point. Oh my god. How do I wake these people up? How do I wake up? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Um. That's great and all, but do I seriously have to use it on everyone? Like. Uh, wake dust. Use. Oh, okay. I, I literally just use it once and it just oh, it explodes all over the entire town. Okay, huh? Interesting. Well, that's good. I was afraid I have to sprinkle it on everyone's fucking faces like the damn Sandman. That was lovely. Yeah, we get it. You're waking up. Good. Yes, I did it. Aw, yeah. Not sleepy at all anymore. How about you, boy? You sleepy? Ugh. Ugh, dare it. Re reading the word yawn made me yawn. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. Oh man. Actually, that reminds me... Wait, oh, I must have dozed off. Did you do anything funny? Oh, oh you're so... I... That reminds me of a. Uh, uh, well, you know what? Screw it. I'll just tell you about it uh, after. Ortega's left. He saved me from monsters and led me back to the village. He had such muscular arms. That's my dad, yo. That's weird. 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I read a short story for a fantasy uh, class, really good class. I wrote a really great paper comparing uh, American Gods and Coraline because Neil Gaiman stuff. Hm? Yes, I'm Ortega's son. Uh, he said he was going to ask him to find the magic key, but I'm not sure if it was yesterday. I have this odd feeling that I slept for years. Wow, was it years? Oh my god. Uh, years? You'd think someone else would have handled that. Is this literally just like, I'm the only capable person in the entire world? I guess that's usually how JRPGs go. Next time on Double Jump, I'll tell you about the short story, and we'll just keep saving more completely helpless peons from, I don't know, accidentally falling into the toilet while taking a shit.